The Gruffalo's Child by Julia Donaldson. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, a big bad mouse will come after you. I met him once, the Gruffalo said. I met him a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell me, Dad. Oh, is he terribly big and terribly bad? I can't quite remember, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and he scratched his head. Hmm. The big bad mouse is terribly strong and his scaly tail is terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire. And his whiskers are tougher, tougher than wire. One snowy night when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bold. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave. So she tiptoed out to the Gruffalo's cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild into the wood. Gruffalo's child. Aha, oh ho, trail in the snow. But whose is this trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of a log pile house. Could this be the tail of the big bad mouse? Out slid the creature, but his eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, none at all. The mouse? Not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake. <gasps> the snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the gruffalo's child. Aha, uh -huh. oh ho, marks in the snow. But whose are these claw marks and where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of a treetop house. Could this be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Down flew the creature, but his tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. To woo, not I. But he's somewhere nearby eating gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Aha, uh -huh. oh ho, huh. a track in the snow. But whose is this track and where does it go? <gasps> Whiskers at last. And an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? Out slunk the creature. But his eyes weren't fiery. His tail wasn't scaly and his whiskers weren't wiry. You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under a tree drinking gruffalo tea. <gasps> it's all a trick, said the gruffalo's child. And he sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. <gasps> but here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste good as a midnight feast. <gasps> Wait, said the mouse, before you eat, there's a friend of mine I'd like you to meet. If you'll let me hop on to the hazel twig, I'll call for my friend, so bad and so big. <gasps> the guffalo's child unclenched her fist. So the big bad mouse, he does exist. The mouse hopped on to the hazel tree. He beckoned then said, just wait and see. Out came the moon, it was bright and round and a terrible shadow fell onto the ground. Who is this creature so big bad and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and over his shoulder he carries a nut the size of a boulder. The big man mouse! He'll 
the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down from the twig and smiled. Aha, oh ho, some prints in the snow. Where are these footprints and where do they go? <gasps> the footprints led to a Gruffalo cave where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. And the Gruffalo just snored and snored.